First drive of the day starts at the 26-yard line. Penix looks to throw. He's given time. Here's Ty Freifogel left alone in the flats. Makes a cut and a big gain in the first play for Indiana. As well, got a stud running back in Scott. Penix makes a go and watch for Watt Fillier in the slot as well. He's the man in motion here. They give it to Fillier into the short side of the field. They're able to get a couple in last week's game with injuries. On second and eight, Penix hits Scott. And that is a huge open field tackle made by Barrett. Green showing pressure. On third and five, out of the backfield again, it's Scott. Right to the sticks. Completed his first three. On first and ten, he'll throw it again. Another efficient toss. It's Fillier. Rock Fillier fights his way for close to a first down. He's a lot of fun. Single favorite player interview I've done. Another pass play. He gets rid of it just in time. It's through the hands of Marshall who comes back. MVP for the Wolverines back in 92 watching on. Third down and short. They hand it off to Stevie Scott. He is big and strong and he keeps on churning for a first down and then a little bit more. I'm not sure. Back. We've seen him make a couple catches on this first drive and so good in pass pro. He's got it straight ahead here. Crashes forward for a gain of four with a stop from Luigi Valene. Most dangerous. Second and six. Penix finds the crosser. It's Ty Freifogel for an Indiana first down. First down from the 18. Off play action. Penix floating in zone and incomplete. Second down and 10. A free play for Indiana. In zone shot again. It's put in, but out of bounds. Well, they got him drawn off again. To the end zone again. Miles Marshall for the Indiana touchdown. Play for the first time since 1988. Starting this drive from the 20. March down the field, scored a touchdown on their first possession. This ball's batted down. Second and ten. Third time they've swung it outside to Scott. Short game this time. Brought down by Michael Barrett. Looking in that direction. Heaving to the sideline. And broken up by Vincent Gray. Drive begins at the 25-yard line. Scott. McGrone brings him down. A short game. We saw him leave with an injury on the first possession. On second and nine. Penix against pressure. Gets rid of it for a first down. Sling it. I mean, the RPMs, especially in the middle of the field, and they crank up when he flicks that ball out of his hand. Looking to throw it on first down here. Lofting down the sideline for Henderson, but it's off his hands. Back to the air against pressure. He's got one on one. Back shoulder throw. It is pulled in by Ty Freifogel. On first down from the 31, back to the ground, it's Scott, got hit in the backfield by McGraw and it never could get started. Side Joe, you know that was coached all week to try to get off the ball fast. Looks to throw again, given all kinds of time, he'll dump it off, Miles Marshall, who's got the touchdown, has five yards here and it's third down. There they go again, it's another free play, and so an end zone shot, up top! of that defense, which is out on the perimeter. Samson James, it's five. Game, Indiana begins his second quarter with a second and five. And a run for Samson James that loses the yard. In fact, both Indiana touchdowns came on free plays thanks to those. Third and six, Penix retreating, hitting a crossing failure, and failure gets pulled down by Daxton Hill, which keeps him from getting a first down. 50 in his first half. Michael Penix and the Hoosiers beginning from the 12. Stevie Scott into the arms of Christopher Hinton. Ready. Over the middle, there's Freifogel having a huge first half. First down to the 30. In your zone coverage as well. Fillier comes in motion. They flip it to him. Wap Fillier. Nowhere to run. He's in good out of bounds by Brad Hawkins. An expectation that guy will be a head man somewhere, someday. He's got the acumen to his dad, Bill. 35-year coaching veteran. He's at Air Force right now. Penix gets rid of it just in time. That pressure was coming quickly. Carlo Kemp. And the hard count works again. 
It's the fifth free play. It's incomplete, but then another flag. They're going to get Jamon Green, it looks like. Go, that back judge is looking at you the entire way. So it gives him the first down on what was third and 12. Here's Marshall behind him, an incomplete, an opportunity for Hawkins to get a pick. Committed to Tennessee, flipped to Indiana. Here he is as a redshirt sophomore, a budding star. Ended it off on second down and nowhere to run. Quinny Pay, the two-time All-Big Ten defensive end. Time to snap it on the first clap. Pennant steps up into a tight window for failure. Challenge. From the 40, looking up top. He throws incomplete off the mark for failure. Four receivers into the near side for Michael Penix. Swings it out to Wap failure. He takes Vincent Gray for a ride. And a gain of six, and it's third down. Only a four-man rush, still able to get penetration and an errant throw, makes it fourth down. Play the Buckeyes on November 21st. Short gain on first down. Two-yard gain on first down, second and eight for Penix. Gets rid of it to James, who's got a first down, and so, so much for the three and out. Speaking of gimmicks. James running hard to the 20. Hard count works again. Unbelievable. Penix again finds the window, taking advantage with Marshall. Converted four of those into long completions. Penix well protected here on time and rhythm. He's got Freifogel for another big game into Michigan territory. From the 27-yard line, Penix will run it for the first time. Smartly slide down with a game of three. Run it all the way down. Here's Scott, the corner off the right side. Inside the 15, first down. Credit for the receiving yards. He's had a bunch of good stock blocks, too. Penix over the middle, broken up with a great play by Daxton Hill. Penix hits across in five forward. He's inside the 10, down to the five. Oh, Samson James, a running back. Now he's to the left side of Penix. He's got it, and he's got a first down. Scott comes in for him. First down and goal from the three. Couple of tight ends in the game for Indiana. The lead the way for Scott. Lowers the shoulder, then gets stymied at the two. Second down and goal. They snap it quickly. Into the flash. That's a touchdown. Peyton Hendershot. As Indiana goes back to work, first drive of the second half. After they racked up close to 300 yards in the first half, they fake the swing, step up, throw long, one on one, and pass interference coming on Hawkins as they went up top for Miles Marshall on the first play. Indiana got it done mostly through the air in the first half. They'll stick there here. Fill you with the intended receiver with the coverage from Vincent Gray. First down from the 40. First run play of the half into the hands of Stevie Scott, who's pulled down by Quiddy Pay. The official all afternoon for the Hoosiers. Going to bring it four. They're twisting up front, creating some havoc. Fillier breaks a tackle and reaches for a first down. Back to Fillier. Needs a couple of blocks. Not going to get him. He gets a short game. College football. Second and ten. Not much there for Scott, who gets three. Empties it out on this third and six. Again, just four-man rush. That is incomplete. Miscommunication between Fillier and Penix. Coverage from Hawkins. Game, Indiana starts the drive of the 25-yard line. Right, the Penix back to throw. Looking short side. Hendershot juggles and catches. First down, crossing the 40. Seven times today. Completing 25 of them. First down from the 41. A fake to Scott. Play action. He gets rid of it just in time. Incomplete. Got hit by Carlo Kemp. Henderson. First down. Second catch of the drive. He gets 11. Phil, you're coming in motion on first and 10 from the 49. A fake to Scott. Pressure off the edge. He throws it incomplete. Second down and 10. Fake to Scott. And 
they get back to the line of scrimmage. On third and ten, pressure again, panics his chase, gets rid of it, tight coverage and incomplete, but a flag. Or a penalty. Moves the ball to the 33. He's back to throw on first down. Michigan getting a little more pressure. They picked up late, so an end zone shot. And Green with a cover just time on Freifogel. Pocket a little bit more as Penix. Really comfortable during the first half, much of it. Back to the ground on second down. Nice cut from Samson James. And a gain of six, six, third down. It's Hendershot. Right to the marker. It's going to depend on the spot. He says that he's got it, and it looks like he does. Another third down conversion. A, a huge storyline. With a fresh set of downs, Penix stepping up. There's a flag down, and Penix is down as another flag flies. First down and 20 for the Hoosiers. Penix over the middle. Door of a quick response after the Michigan touchdown. Scott straight ahead to the goal line and in. Touchdown Hoosiers. 3-11 left to go in this third quarter. Looking for their first win against Michigan since 1987. And their first 3-0 start in the Big Ten since the 80s as well. Barrett took a chance, couldn't get his hand on it. Instead, Fillier runs for a first down. Look to throw again. Taking a shot this time. Down the field. Incomplete. Trying to get a chunk of it back. Stevie Scott. Big hole. Cut down by Daxton Hill. Second and 12. Penix back to throw. All day to scan the field. Deliver for failure. Hit over the nice tackle. And it's third and four. Four to choose from and just four defenders over there. He's flushed off his back foot, throws incomplete. Michigan able to get home as he tried to lay it off to Hewitt. Starts through the air, second most for an Indiana quarterback in this series. We're going to let him look for more here. Floats one into coverage and incomplete. They hung up there for an eternity and Hawkins went up and got his hands on it but couldn't pull it in. Downs underneath and forced it. Only throw one kick this season. They look to throw again, back-to-back -back throws with his 10-point lead and back-to-back -back incompletions, making it third and 10 on third down today. Michigan bringing just four with a twist. Penix throws incomplete. This has been a staple of Indiana early on, taking advantage of these takeaways. Here comes Scott with a gaping hole. First down inside the 15. First and 10, it's Scott again. It's three or four. McGrone is there with Barrett. And Indiana with a second and six for the Michigan 10. It's James. Rolls the shoulder and brought down by Barrett to set up third and two. It's James. He reaches forward. Hawkins hit him at the line of scrimmage. Was the lunge enough? They're going to spot him a little bit short. Straight downhill, he's got a first down, hurling his way over the line of scrimmage, first and goal for Indiana. From the pistol, it's Scott. Second and goal. Penix to throw. Into the end zone, incomplete. Over the head of Miles Marshall. Where does Indiana go with on third down? Back to the ground. after the Penn State win overtime. Indiana back on offense. A run for Stevie Scott. That was it. That's what the offers for him. Scott's got it again here, and it's third down. Three with 4.53 left to go. Three straight carries for Stevie Scott, and a first down for Indiana. Puck continues to run. First down and 10, back to the ground. Scott submarine four for five.